me and Uzi have been like responding or corresponding back and forth with each other for over a year now. I think how I actually met him was through, I met him through Don Cannon a long time ago when he was still like uh, love uh, before Love Is Rage days actually. I didn't reach, we didn't get back in touch until after this track leaked called Mood. So once Mood leaked and then he previewed another track, it's, uh, I don't even know the name of it, but everyone was asking for it. And I commented on his Instagram and was like, regardless of anybody's opinion, this track is going to do well. You know, and he saw the comment out of all these, you know, he gets like 16,000 comments. So he saw my comment, I guess it was at the top. He, uh, he DM'd me and was like, yo, I've been looking for you. And he was like, I didn't know you produced this with, with Oogie Man. So I sent him my number. Uh, he FaceTimed me that same day and was like, bro, send me everything. And, you know, we just started a relationship right then and there. And I was like, yo, I got to, if I'm going to make beats for anybody, it's got to be you. Like, our sounds match up too well for me not to be working with you. He's like, let's get it. So I started sending him beats. Um, within that first week, that way was the, like one of the first songs he recorded. I thought it was like, because he likes to record a lot of tracks and then just kind of put them to the side. I thought this was one of those tracks he was going to put to the side. I had no idea this was going to actually turn into what it is right now. That's that's a that's a track that's over a year old. I started that beat with um, Philippe, one of my one of my favorite guitar players. Um, he he would uh like the first time we met he he played some stuff in front of me that sounded already like Uzi's vibe, and I asked him to send it to me. And ever since then he was making stuff in that likeness. So he would send me stuff. I would um I would start with his guitar loops. I would make drums around it. Um, somebody sent me like some presets for like Omnisphere or something, and I was just testing out sounds. So that's where those weird bells came from in that song. And I'm I'm a huge fan of like using synth bass for breakdowns and stuff like that. So that breakdown at the beginning of the song wasn't even supposed to be at the beginning of the song. It was supposed to be pre-hook, you know. But his engineer Kay Lee ended up moving the track around, you know. So. I don't know how Backstreet Boys got involved in this song. I really don't. I think that was all Uzi. But it was a game changer. <laughs> we got we got Nick Carter reaching out. I had no idea, bro. Like when they when they called me, I was like, bro, you got a song with Uzi that's so crazy. I was like, what is it? He's like, bro, I don't tell him I told you this, but it samples the Backstreet Boys. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. Why? <laughs> my mom like why and how do you even you like how, this is before I heard it it's like how does Uzi find a way to use Backstreet Boys in a record once I heard it which was literally the day before it came out it's the first time I'm actually hearing lyrics on this beat and I was like oh yeah this might be a hit this might be a hit knowing Uzi and the way he you know his fan base and the type of people that he relates to this might be a hit Hopefully we hit Billboard, man. That's that's just I've never been on Billboard before, so if I can get uh in the Billboard charts, it'd be amazing.